519 Sports Online is proud to present the Sutherland Cup Round Robin in partnership with No Frills and the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League. Drop by your local No Frills location for freshness guaranteed and prices that won't be beat. Also check out nofrills.ca for the latest flyers and deals being offered. And good evening everybody. Welcome inside the Pyramid Rack Complex. You can hear them behind me. Capacity crowd in St. Mary's for their first Sutherland Cup home game since 1976. The Lincoln faithful already looking to bounce back from last night. Listowel looking to move to 2-0 on the road here in the round robin. Faceoff is coming up next on 519 Sports. Cornfield shot. Here goes O'Donnell on a partial break. O'Donnell fires Abbott the save. And he hangs on for a faceoff. So see if the Lincolns can get something going. They did not have a power play last night. McQueen Spence, Barkley walks the blue line. McQueen Spence, he's been the hot hand for St. Mary's in the playoffs. Leads the league in scoring in the postseason. Bouncing puck out front. They score! Listen to this part for Cohen Bidgood. Power play goal, Lincoln strike first. One nothing St. Mary's. With a minute 15 to go, Briquette for Yurig. Far side, Dietz, Alexander fires in behind Abbott. He's down, he's got it. And he'll hang on for a faceoff and a great save again, Abbott. And Smith will start up at center with speed for Listowel. Here's Smith into the zone, to the forehand, backhand, in behind the goal, Smith. Full circle of the O-Zone, has a man on the far side. Yurig fires right into the mitt of Abbott. With 25 seconds to go in the power play. He'll kick it out of his own zone into the Lincoln's end. Yurig has it into the middle of the ice. That one's turned back around. Here's Collins, and on a break, forehand, Dixon Grimes. Says no and hangs on after the whistle. McNeven getting tied up. And that's Cohen Bidgood down below the goal line and we'll sort things out here in St. Mary's. Here come the Lincolns in two on one if they hurry. McQueen Spence knocked off stride by Benson Moore. Penalty gonna be coming here down low to Benson Moore. Delayed call up, top skating, Collins a shot, blocked. Have it to the bench, they still haven't touched it up, Collins. Far side, six on five on the delayed call. Ben Sumeran, tie up out front. Montese, Bogart, Ben Sumeran, Callens skating in, fires, glove, save! Dixon Grimes flashing the leather. And he keeps it a one score hockey game, penalty on the way. Vandenbrink whips it, Barkley skates in up top of the Lincoln logo. Barkley, Weir, Barkley, far side, tap pass, hit a stick out front. 40 seconds to go on the five on three. Lynx looking to get some padding here on a one nothing lead. Barkley, near side, one timer! Score! Ethan Weir bombs away on the near dot. Nothing, Lincolns, another power play goal. Back to the far side into the zone down low as the change is being made. Listow will start out of the zone through center. Luke Yurig's got Briquette back for Yurig to the backhand. Abbott got a piece of it. Benson Moore up for Brenner. Here's a shot right on Grimes. The save, he pounces on the loose puck out front and covers. Here's O'Donnell. Two seconds, shot, no. After the whistle, O'Donnell and Sigmund tied up in the corner. Jack O'Donnell red hot and went right back at Sigmund. The two of them still tangled up down low as the linesman trying to separate things. As we end 40 minutes of play, St. Mary's up 2-0 over the Listowel Cyclones. Played around near side, O'Donnell can't hold his own. Two on one, St. Mary's from center. Prendergast holds, fires, Grimes the save, and it dribbles wide to the corner. 
McQueen spent up top. It'll be tipped up out of the zone. Here goes Dean shorthanded. He's got Coombs. Oh, Abbott! Are you serious? Brandon Abbott out of this world. Listen to this place for their netminder. Scott, back at the blue line, up top, Renault lets it go, through traffic, score! Listowel's on the board, that puck was tipped right out front, Brady Smith's got his second of the round, Robin, don't go anywhere, we got a good one now, it's a one goal game in St. Mary's, and the Lincolns will get it out. Van Sumeren, what a move, two on one, drags on goal, Dixon grabs the save. So Listowel's going to burn their 30-second timeout. Under two to go here in St. Mary's. Sykes going to drop their best play and see if they can't tie this game late in period three. Sykes will get set up in the zone, six on five, Alexander. Far side, walking in, McRobbie, fires, through traffic, loose puck out front, still rolling around, unable to get a stick on it. Back up top, Dietz, far side, holding, firing, block shot out of the zone by Barkley. McNeven still in a battle for it, picked up by Smith. He'll throw it to the far side, settled by Mason Urig. Urig, his shot, right into the shin pads and out of Van Sumeren. 30 seconds to go, Smith. Works his way back in on side. Uring, Scott, far side. They're back set up. There's a shot out front, blocked again. Loose puck into the high slot. Uring, 20 seconds, drags. Uring in, another block shot. Van Sumeren out front. Muhlenstein sent it wide. Around to the far boards, 10 seconds to go. McNeven in, blocked. Muhlenstein a whack, wide to the corner. Up top, that shot goes wide. Listen to this town. For the first time since 1976, St. Mary's has a Sutherland Cup victory. As they defeat the Listowel Cyclones 2-1, to one. what a hockey game. That moves every single team in the round robin to one and one. Every home team has a victory as each squad has one to play. St. Mary's takes it. 2-1 over Listowel. Final from the Pyramid Rec Complex. Amazing battle out of all the kids, both sides. And to, to have the support that we have in St. Mary's is incredible. Like I said to the guys before the game, like we've had this team inside that room all season, but now we got like a rink full of people that are on our team and we got like a town and the surrounding area with our team. And it makes a big difference. The, the players can feel it. Abbott's outstanding. He's been outstanding ever since he got here. Um, that save he made on the shorthanded 2 on 0 was like, that was the game. That was right there. So like, it, it, goaltending special teams, you said it. And, and we, we got it tonight. We struggled at home last series against London. So it was, it was big to come in here and get the first one at home of the round robin. But I mean, just I, you said it gutsy. I mean, it's a gutsy win. It's got to be that way late in the season like this. So I mean, just for all the boys to band together and pull it out in the last five minutes. It's it's a special win, especially for the town with all the fans behind us. We keep them behind us and we'll just keep rolling. In a four out of seven, you got a few games to figure out your opponent. It's not like that here. It's a crash course. Uh, we got a feel for who they are now, but we still feel like we need to we focus on ourselves. Um, you know, we uh, playing well defensively, being on the right side of the puck at the right time. We saw last night uh, one goal wasn't enough, one mistake, and it's in your net. So that second goal tonight was big. And, you know, it's much more where players focus on details and execute details when, when everything's on the line like it is right now. Our guys have been outstanding defensively. Um, ice is tough to, to gain out there. All these teams play really, really good systems, structure, and are good defensively. So it's a grind, but it's fun. I thought there was a lot of good. Um, you know, five on five, it was a one nothing game. They've got a pretty deadly power play, and they got some guys that can play. Our power play didn't convert tonight; theirs did. Um, but for our guys coming into an atmosphere like this for the first time, there's a lot of positives we can take from it with the effort. We just got to capitalize a little more and um, handle those details: stopping on pucks, winning pucks, not throwing blind pucks away. And um, this time of year, three good teams playing. The team that makes the least amount of mistakes wins the game. So. Um, 
But I thought there was positives we can take from this tonight for sure. And we lost a special teams battle. You know, they had two uh, power play goals. We didn't have any. Um, we had one five on five on five goal. They didn't. So, um, yeah, we just got to, you know, work harder uh, and hopefully get a different result next game. We got practice the next two days. We'll watch some video. We'll get prepared. We got to get prepared for a different team now. Um, but we'll, we'll pull some stuff from this and show some details to show the difference. But um, it's a reset. It's. I don't think anybody was coming in to win all these games. It's, it's three good teams again. It's, it's hard to win on the road. Um, we've got a test, uh, tough place to go on Wednesday on a back-to-back -back road, uh, two road games. But uh, we get to see what we're made of, and, and we'll reset, and we'll be ready to go.